Hi guys, so it is action figure haul day again, and this tripod, you know what, we're just going to leave it here for now, it's probably okay. Alright, so, um, got a bunch of stuff here, um, probably going to... You know what, I'm not going to ruin the surprise on the other video, because I think that's going to have to be another video. So, we're just going to focus on the stuff that's on the table today. Um, so, first up, we'll just kind of work our way over. I um, got this Earthworm Gem Pocket Rocket. Um, it is missing the windshield. Um, other than that, it's in pretty good shape. Uh, the only function this thing really does is this. And it's just got a little thing on the back that you twist. Pretty straightforward. Nothing real special. Not even a missile. Like, come on. How's their throne gym supposed to fight anybody without a missile? Anyway. Um, then. Got a lot of new stuff this time for some reason. Um, this is the Bad Batch Elite Squad Trooper. Um, there he is. Then, behind there, we have the new Battle Armor Skeletor. Right, let's just do this here. Got Battle Armor Skeletor. Um, he's not that special. Um, I mainly got him just to kind of go along with He-Man. But He-Man's the uh, jewel out of the two of them. They did have a Hordak. Um, I passed on Hordak for some reason. I should have got him. But really, I don't care about this wave of the extra pieces and stuff. The only reason I got this, well, two reasons. I like the glow effect for the sword. And I like the vintage head. Other than that, meh. Um, next up, well, you can obviously see, I got Major Brood. Um, one of my buddies messaged me and said, hey, they've got this guy over at your Target store. So I drove over there and they didn't. So I pulled out my phone to show a girl uh, that worked there and found that it was still on the truck, but it was available for pickup. So I just rolled the dice and said, well, they're not going to let me. She won't go get it out of the truck. So anyway, I uh, did the available for pickup and got mine. They would only let us have one. So I messaged all my other friends in our group and said, hey, get yours. And everyone was able to get a major blood that day. So it all worked out for everybody. Um, I, I walked in there and they had five uh, or six in a case. And I think all six of my friends got one. So. I wasn't thrilled about this figure until I seen him in person. Man, he's a good looking figure. I love the hands on this side, especially. Um, I can't really tell. It doesn't look like it's the same hand, but this robot hand is awesome. I love the detailing on the head. I don't care too much about the helmet. Like I know it's major blood, but I just like it better without the helmet, personally. Um, I haven't watched a review, but where do these arrows go? I thought they went on the back of the backpack, but do they do anything? I don't know. I'm going to have to watch another review on this. Um, anyway, cool figure. Very happy to have him. Um, and then back here, you guys know I absolutely despise Power Rangers. So the fact that I picked this guy up, some of the bad guy designs are cool just for toy aesthetics and stuff. But this is the Tango Warrior. And he is pretty awesome. He's heavy. Um, he comes with his egg, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, he's got all his little wing bits inside here. Um, I don't know what he's got over here on this side. I can't tell from the packaging. Um, I'm assuming it's more wing bits. Um, yeah, he's real heavy. You can tell he's got this 
iridescent like a chameleon paint job almost or not chameleon like the chameleon but chameleon like the color shifting paint so um yeah i don't know it looks really freaking cool though um so i just went ahead and grabbed it thought why not then we've got flint he finally um he didn't actually show up my brother found him before big bad toy store uh got me my pre-order so i just told my brother to pick it up for me so we got flint he looks pretty good no he's just a soldier looking guy so nothing i do like this shotgun how it's got the actual shells on the side that's some detailing that uh not a lot of toy lines would do um then i picked this up for a friend this is my hero academia uh, i don't know anything about this uh stain he looks kind of crazy um i would have assumed he was a villain but i think he's a good guy actually but it's mcfarland so they always detail him pretty good and he's got a cool design i don't know about the tongue sticking out thing but whatever works then hiding back over here you can't see we got a lady well that ain't coming off whatever that is uh, Lady Deathstrike from the Super Villains line um, it was the only one in this wave that I even had any interest in um, I wouldn't mind to do the build a figure on this one but I'm not buying one the Doom was okay uh, Dormammu one two three four five really i didn't care about i mean they're all cool in their own right uh, red skull's cool arcade's cool um yeah i don't know yeah um then I grabbed another hunter. I gotta check and see if I even need this guy. Uh, I thought I had a hunter. I do have a hunter. One of them, either him or Crosshair, the packaging's jacked up on. So I was gonna trade out the good packaging. Um, yeah. I think I need two of these guys. I don't know. Anyway, that's Hunter. And then... Uh, Bo-Katan. Um, I actually have one of my pre-order bucket through Big Bad Toy Store. Um, I know who the actress is in this. I don't really care to see her face. Personally, I would just rather just been a full helmet and not have a changeable helmet but uh Katie Sackoff was that who played her yeah um I don't know cool figure uh this one I didn't expect to find I didn't even think he was out yet um Rhinox so I finally got my hands on this guy uh just Rhinox. Looks cool. Box art's freaking awesome. Look at that, how awesome that box art is. Um, yeah. I don't know if I'll open him or not. I already have, uh, uh, the last generation version, the, uh, Takara release, so it's got the really good paint job on it, and, I don't know. I kind of like the other one better, so, I may have to wait until I see some reviews. And coming over to this side of the table, got a Technodrome door at a Goodwill for a dollar. They almost didn't give it to me because they're like, it doesn't have a price on it, you can't buy it. And the lady standing next to him uh, just said, let him have it for a dollar. So I got it for a buck. And then, I wish I would have gotten this for a buck. Um, picked up a few things at a local shop. Um, spent... <coughs> Kind of more than I wanted to that day. I wasn't really planning on it, but it just kind of happened. 
Uh, that's where the Earthworm Gem came from and a couple other things. But um, this is the Tiger Force. I want to say it's the Tiger Sting. I apologize. I don't know a ton about G.I. Joe. I'm slowly getting into it. Uh, but this will go go with my other Rattlers and uh, Tigerettes and uh, Tiger Flies. So, I like the Tiger Force line. Who would have known? Then I got... Mantis, complete for Pirates of Dark Water. He was the last figure I needed. Um, I've got Ayaz's sword. Uh, ordered him actually the same day I ordered this. Uh, it is yet to ship, so maybe it'll show up one day. Who knows? Um, aside from that, the only thing I'm really technically missing from that line is Ren's weapons loose. I have his weapons carded, but I'm looking for them loose. Uh, so I can have a full set. But I like Pirates of Dark Water, so. Then, um, I grabbed another Wide Weasel, because I think I need an extra. Yeah. Um, then I've got this Mask Raven. Um, it does some stuff. Uh, so you push the button back there. Sometimes it wants to open. There's the little turbo engines. Um, so it's got this little pull lever back here, and I'll show you what that is in a second. But basically these wheels fold down. There are these little things here. I think they maybe are missing something. Maybe like it's supposed to have a laser on it or something. But to me, let me roll you through this. So there's the back wheels. Got a little spoiler above the back wheel that pops out. And then you have the doors that just hinge open. And I do have both seat belts in there intact. Um, then you have this button on the side that flips that and then your wheels come down and you got more guns or little flip up things and you got two of those and then there's this little razor blade in here a razor saw that is supposed to shoot out when you pull this back um, from what I've seen on a review because I'd never owned this before but there's also this button oh finally figured out what it does okay that's the first time it's actually worked. So, here's the saw blade. And if you look, there's actually another one in there. And they both can slot inside here. So that's pretty cool. Oh, it's not wanting to do it now. Anyway, so that's what that does. Uh, me personally, I like to flip this thing around, leave those little tabs up. And then when you have it on the ground, it kind of looks like it's hovering a little bit. There, let's do this here. So, anyway, that's what I like to do for the three days I've owned this thing. <laughs> I act like I've did it. I've been doing it up for years. Oh, and I do have the pilot. Unfortunately, um, he did not come with his helmet. And I had looked it up and seen his name and what the helmet was called. And now I have forgotten. He just does not seem like he wants to fit right in here.
Yeah, he's definitely squished in there. I don't know how he would fit with... If he actually had his helmet on. I know you guys don't want to see this, but now I'm just like, it's like, I just got to know if it works or not. Yeah, like, this freaking toy sucks. Fuck this thing. Why don't you fit? I mean, are your knees supposed to be up, like, on your chest? Is that how you drive this thing? Like, yeah, you spent all the time detailing and putting a seatbelt in there, but you can't make the guy fit? Okay, there we go. He might fit if he had his helmet on. Well, uh, that seatbelt's just gonna be stuck in his face, so. Anyway. Last thing I got that you've seen me kind of avoid looking at. There are uh, uh, there's actually another box full of stuff I got this week, but um, I must do it as a different video. So anyway, Metal Mutants Michelangelo. There he is. If you've never owned one of these, all the armor pulls off and creates something else. So this one creates a beetle. Um, this one. I never noticed that there was a notch on the back for Michelangelo's helmet. Huh, that holds it on a lot better. Uh, but this is his beetle armor. I don't know if you can see that, he does have... Uh, light piping from these little horns that come down into the eyes. Um... Yeah, he was the last one that I needed um, for this line. The only thing I'm missing from this line now is Shredder's sword. So yeah, pretty happy to have this guy. I think that's the only thing I'm missing. Yep. This is one line I've been really excited to complete, so happy about that um anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video see you guys later